forward to the third power. We need to make sure, though, we can rewrite these, um, Ava, when having these to be the same. We know, again, that we want to apply our equality. b to the y equals b to the x. Therefore, y equals x, right? So to do this, we need to make sure we have the exact same denominators. Well, again, remember, guys, I can rewrite 1 over 4. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can rewrite 1 over. OK. Um, I can rewrite this as, yes, you could go ahead and rewrite the 4. What are you doing? I'll go and check those later. You can just, I'll check those for you. Um, 1 divided by 4 raised to the 2x plus 2. So yeah, what we want to do is see you know, how else could I rewrite this so that they're going to have you know, exactly the same power. Now, one thing I notice is you know, whenever we're looking at this, you, know, you can always go from small to large, but we could also work from, you always want to, it's always helpful sometimes a lot to work from the largest to the smallest. So I could rewrite. Um, 64, okay, I can rewrite that as um, to have with the same base. I can rewrite that as 1 over 4 raised to the negative third power. So I can rewrite 64 um, and look. A what? Okay. 1 over 64 is really the same thing as 1 over 4 to the negative third power. Would you guys agree with that? Let's go and apply that. 1 over 4 to the negative third power. That equals 1 over 4 to the negative third power, which equals 4 to the third power, which equals 64. Right? Does everybody follow me if I was going to follow that? So therefore, I can rewrite my 64 as 1 over 4 to the negative 3 power. So then I have 1 4 times 2x plus 2 equals uh, 1 4 raised to the negative third shoot, times x minus 1. Now I can apply my product property, or my power to the power property. So a to the m times n equals a to the m times n. So now I multiply that. So I have 1 to the fourth raised to the 2x plus 2 equals 1 to the fourth negative 3 times x is going to be raised to a negative 3x. And remember, you got to apply distributive property plus 3. Now I can apply my equality property. So therefore, I have 2x plus 2 equals negative 3x plus 3. So therefore, I add 3x, and I get 5x plus 2 equals 3. Subtract 2, and I get 5x equals 1. Divide by 5, x equals 1 over 5. Yes? OK, we'll go and look at that in a second. All right? Does anybody have a question on what I did there? OK. So what was the, the way that you did it? 